Chào các bạn đến bài luyện tiếng Anh tiếp theo bài hôm nay của chúng ta là bài số 15. Lesson 15. Lesson 15. Lesson 15. Preposition. 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 The words on, under, in, from, etc. are prepositions. Những cái từ on, under, in, from này đều là giới từ. Prepositions là giới từ. Give me some examples of prepositions, please. Give me some examples of prepositions, please. Cho tôi một số cái ví dụ của cái uh, giới từ. Some examples of prepositions are on, under, in, and from. Some examples of prepositions are on, under, in, and from. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? I come from London. I come from London. À, bạn đến từ đâu? Nếu mình uh, đến từ Việt Nam, mình sẽ đó là là I come from Vietnam. I come from Vietnam. Where do I come from? Where do I come from? You come from London. You come from London. When we use question words, for example, what, which, and where, we put the preposition last in the sentence. For example, we do not say from where do you come from. We say where do you come from. We do not say on what are you putting the book. We say what are you putting the book on. Khi chúng ta sử dụng cái từ hỏi, question words, chẳng hạn như là từ what, which hay là where, thì chúng ta sẽ đặt cái preposition, cái giới từ last ở cuối in the sentence trong câu. For example, ví dụ, we do not say, chúng ta không nói là from where do you come from, mà là chúng ta sẽ nói là where do you come from. Đặt giới từ ở cuối. Uh, we do not say on what are you putting the book, chúng ta sẽ nói là what are you putting the book on. What do we speak with? What do we speak with? We speak with our mouths. We speak with our mouths. Where am I taking the book from? Where am I taking the book from? You're taking the book from the table. You're taking the book from the table. What am I putting the pen under? What am I putting the pen under? You're putting the pen under the book. You're putting the pen under the book. What are you sitting on? What are you sitting on? I'm sitting on a chair. I'm sitting on a chair. North. North. South. South. East. East. West. West. Cardinal point. Cardinal point. Paris. Paris. Tell me the names of the four cardinal points, please. Ở đây cardinal points đây là bốn hướng nha mọi người. À, là cái điểm mốc là bốn hướng. Tell me the names of the four cardinal points, please. The names of the four cardinal points are north, south, east, and west. The names of the four cardinal points are north, south, east, and west. Bốn hướng là north là bắc, south là nam, east là đông, west là tây. Is Greece west of Italy? Is Greece west of Italy? No, Greece isn't west of Italy. No, Greece isn't west of Italy. It's east of Italy. It's east of Italy. Is Paris in the south of France? Is Paris in the south of France? No, Paris isn't in the south of France. No, Paris isn't in the south of France. It's in the north of France. It's in the north of France. Is Germany east or west of Italy? Is Germany east or west of Italy? Germany isn't east or west of Italy. Germany isn't east or west of Italy. It's north of Italy. It's north of Italy. Khi người ta hỏi cái câu lựa chọn thì chúng ta không trả lời yes no. Chúng ta phủ định thì phủ định là isn't. Thêm not vào. Germany isn't east or west of Italy. Rồi sau đó chúng ta trả lời là 
uh, it's north of Italy uh, nếu mà là đúng trong một trong hai cái lựa chọn thì chúng ta lấy cái lựa chọn đó ra để chúng ta trả lời nếu mà hai lựa chọn đều không đúng thì chúng ta phủ định cả hai lựa chọn giống như câu này là Germany is an east or west of Italy sau đó chúng ta nói một cái lựa chọn khác đó là it's north of Italy place place some of some of how many places are there in this room how many places are there in this room there are 14 places in this room there are 14 places in this room is there anybody sitting in that place is there anybody sitting in that place yes there's somebody sitting in that place yes there's somebody sitting in that place tell me the names of some of the places you like in this country tell me the names of some of the places you like in this country the names of some of the places i like in this country are oxford cambridge and york the names of some of the places i like in this country are oxford cambridge uh, york place chúng ta có âm xì ở đằng cuối chúng ta đọc là place chúng ta có thêm âm xì vô phần place nữa thì chúng ta sẽ đọc là places opposite opposite what's the opposite of high what's the opposite of high the opposite of high is low the opposite of high is low opposite chúng ta không có âm xì ở cuối opposite là hết nha the opposite of high is low. What's the opposite of behind? What's the opposite of behind? The opposite of behind is in front of. The opposite of behind is in front of. What's the opposite of tall? What's the opposite of tall? The opposite of tall is short. The opposite of tall is short. What's the opposite of the verb to teach? What's the opposite of the verb to teach? The opposite of the verb to teach is to learn. The opposite of the verb to teach is to learn. Without. 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 What's the opposite of with? What's the opposite of with? The opposite of with is without. The opposite of with is without. Can we write without a pen or a pencil? Can we write without a pen or a pencil? No, we can't write without a pen or a pencil. No, we can't write without a pen or a pencil. Can we speak without opening our mouths? Can we speak without opening our mouths? No, we can't speak without opening our mouths. No, we can't speak without opening our mouths. Can you read without wearing glasses? Can you read without wearing glasses? Yes, I can read without wearing glasses. Yes, I can read without wearing glasses. Verb Verb Noun Noun Translation Translation A verb is a word we use for an action. For example, take, put, open, close, etc. are verbs. A noun is the name of a thing. For example, book, picture, wall, etc. are nouns. The word translate is a verb, whereas the word translation is a noun. The word mean is a verb whereas the word meaning is a noun. Chúng ta có cái động từ là một cái từ mà chúng ta sử dụng cho một cái hành động chẳng hạn như là take, lấy, put, đặt, open, mở, close, đóng hay những cái từ này là verbs, động từ. A noun is the name of the thing. Một cái danh từ là một cái tên của một cái thứ gì đó chẳng hạn như là book, cuốn sách, picture, cái bức tranh, wall, cái bức tường. Những cái này đã nouns. Những cái này là danh từ. Cái từ translate là, là động từ, a verb. 
Whereas trong khi đó thì cái từ translation, cái việc dịch thuật hay là cái bản dịch là translation là một danh từ. Cái từ mean đó là một động từ. Cái này nó có cái nghĩa gì đó thì cái việc có nghĩa gì đó là một động từ. Whereas là trong khi đó cái từ meaning lại là một danh từ là cái nghĩa. Cái nghĩa của một từ thì cái nghĩa ở đây nó là danh từ. What's the difference between a verb and a noun? What's the difference between a verb and a noun? The difference between a verb and a noun is that a verb is a word we use for an action, whereas a noun is the name of a thing. The difference come as the difference. The difference between a verb and a noun is that a verb is a word we use for an action. Whereas a noun is the name of a thing. Difference có cái phần CE ở cuối các bạn xì ra. The difference. Rồi cái chỗ is that thì các bạn sẽ đọc là is that. Nó sẽ dễ đọc hơn. The difference between a verb and a noun is that a verb is a word we use for an action. Whereas a noun is the name of a thing. Give me an example of a verb. Give me an example of a verb. Please. Please. Take is a verb. Take is a verb. Give me an example of a noun. Give me an example of a noun. Book is a noun. Book is a noun. Is the word translation a verb or a noun? Is the word translation a verb or a noun? The word translation is a noun. The word translation is a noun. During, during, hoặc là during đều được. During hoặc là during đều được. About, about. Do we speak Italian during the lesson? Do we speak Italian during the lesson? Trong cái tiết học thì à, chúng ta nói tiếng Ý phải không? No, we don't speak Italian during the lesson. We speak English. No, we don't speak Italian during the lesson. We speak English. Do you walk about the room during the lesson? Do you walk about the room during the lesson? Chúng ta có walk about hay là walk around nghĩa là đi uh, bộ xung quanh cái căn phòng. No, I don't walk about the room during the lesson. I sit on my chair. No, I don't walk about the room during the lesson. I sit on my chair. Does he walk about the room during the lesson? Does she walk about the room during the lesson? No, he doesn't walk about the room during the lesson. No, he doesn't walk about the room during the lesson. He sits on his chair. He sits on his chair. About how many questions do you answer during the lesson? About how many questions do you answer during the lesson? I answer about 30 questions during the lesson. I answer about 30 questions during the lesson.